All right, Alyssa, supersize Sandy Petty because it's just me and you. We can do cash. Mm. We can be cash. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to start because I feel like I feel like you and I both have a lot to say on this. Okay. Um, I, this is both Sanity Corner and I feel petty. It's petty because when I first saw it, I was like, "Gah, I hate this," and it makes me mad. But it's okay. Sanity Corner because everybody had the same reaction to me, and now it's being relentlessly mocked. And I am talking, of course, about Jeff Bezos's Ugh. and Lauren Sanchez's <laughs> Vogue photo shoot <gasps> and relentlessly taint licking puff piece that went along with it. Um, the pictures are taken by Annie Leibovitz, which is crazy. I guess she really does need money. Um, it's a Western themed photo shoot. Uh, I don't know why it's a Western themed photo shoot. Does Jeff Bezos believe himself to be a cowboy? Aaron, the two of them in the pickup truck, which is clearly supposed to be like an old pickup truck, as if they're real people or like rugged and sexy. Like, no to both. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely no not. No to both. Absolutely. Hard no from me. Uh, it, it's giving, uh, do you remember Gadzooks, the mall store? Of course. It's giving, like, you know, ah, there'd be, like, a, totally right. a micro trend of, like, oh, we're dressing in cowboy wear in the spring of 1999. And, like, that would be a photo that accompanied it. And it's just. It was, I mean, it made me think, Vogue, what are you doing? I don't know. Like, honestly, like, what, how is that? Here's my thing. If you are still a, a, a magazine, you know, one you can pick up and buy at the store, is that what brings people to buy your magazine? Like, it seems so uninteresting to me. I feel like Do it, you know what I mean? I feel like it's what gets people like Jeff Bezos, whose company controls a lot of advertising dollars, to yeah. buy you know advertising what, Aaron, space in a magazine. I'm such a... I'm so Pollyanna. That didn't even occur, <laughs> occur to me. Honestly, it didn't occur to me. I mean, but this yes, isn't this isn't the correct. first. This isn't the first like aggressive fart sound that a Vogue property has, you know, committed a, a profile to. Do you remember when Vogue did a loving profile of Asma Al Assad, Bashir Al Assad's wife? I, I do. They tried to I scrub do. it from the internet, which Streisand affected it. And now you can find it again. It's like de a rose in the desert. And it's like, she's <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. I'm going to say that if you are somebody who, like me, collects unfortunate clippings from mainstream publications who should know better, you should be taking screen grabs of this unfortunate photo collage and Ugh. article because I can't guarantee that it's always going to be there this seems like something that may one day be may disappear scrubbed. yeah can i say something mm -hmm. if people instead of people going to read this article of nonsense do you know what i think they should do hmm. i think they should go read the absolutely terrific uh, tribute to Jezebel that you did for Rolling Stone, oh, which I'm saying here we're going to link in show notes because <laughs> it was such an important piece of history. And the it was, look, this was like my era. You know, when you were at Jezebel, I was at Vice. I just, I loved every every bit of it. And uh, so that's, that's much better than spending your time with Jeff Bezos and Lauren Sanchez in their faux Yellowstone-themed Vogue shoot. I mean... Yahoo Entertainment, first of all, thank you for the compliments. Very kind. Uh, but second of all, uh, Yahoo Entertainment says that the shoot was not in a truck. It was in a van, which makes it funnier. So they're Scooby-Doo? They're, they're sco Scooby-Doo. They're Scooby-Don't. They are Scooby-Don't. <laughs> all right, Alyssa, what is your Sandy Petty this week? Oh, Aaron, I'm all Sandy. Because you know what? World's hard. The world is hard right now. And I, you know... I needed something that would make me feel good. And I, last week, I think we talked about this, um, at the Country Music Awards, Tracy Chapman was actually the first black woman honored with a Country Music Award for Song of the Year because country music sensation, Luke Combs, who I had never heard of. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a country music name. Covered it. And she... Aaron Fast Car, the name of the song that he uh, that he covered, came out in 1988. It was it was so core to my growing up. If you had not look, 
was I a white girl in a 1982 Toyota Celica driving around listening to that song thinking it applied to me? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Every song, Crossroads, Fast Car, Revolution, Baby Can I Hold You. I mean, she is so iconic and it was so wonderful one that the CMAs honored her in that way and then also just the resurgence of people it feels a lot on TikTok to me like people when they had never heard of Stevie Nicks and were like yo have you heard this landslide song Silver Spring this is dark oh my god and now all of these so it's incredible because what the other Sani component of it is is that since 1988, tons of people have covered the song and now people are finding the videos and posting them on TikTok. And like Chris Daughtry and Kelly Clarkson, like there are so many versions of it, but I really, I enjoyed it. And I mean, I know that I'm, I mean, I'm not like old. I was probably born an old soul, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just, <laughs> maybe I'm just boring. But I don't listen to tons of modern music, but I do think that like the lyrics of, Tracy Chapman of resistance, of revolution, of love, of compassion and understanding and empathy are just something that everyone should listen to right now. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know Tracy Chapman, go check her out and maybe she'll be your sanity corner too. <laughs> um, I think that also good songwriting is kind of timeless. Yeah. Like there are certain songs that were huge hits and have never been covered despite the fact that they're pretty singable. And, and part of that might be rights issues, but some of it is just like they weren't very good songs. You know, yeah. like, here's here's my f favorite example. <clears throat> there are tons of covers of Don Henley's Boys of Summer because Don Henley is a good songwriter and Boys of Summer songwriter. is a good song. It's a and good song. A, yeah, it's a good song. Deadhead sticker on a Cadillac. There are, exactly. <laughs> Don't look back. We can never look back. Don't but, look back. <laughs> but, th but a similar song, I consider like a spiritual, like a, a substandard twin to that song is like Summer of 69, which nobody covers. Not a not a great song, it's Brian. It's not Adams. a good song. It's not it's a good not song. Great. Those were the best days of your life, Brian. Really? Were they? Summer of '69 <laughs> was a really bad time for a lot of people, and that was great for you. Glad it was great for you, Brian. Um, okay, I have another sanity corner slash. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's kind of sad. It's like a sad sanity corner. Um, the National Women's Soccer League had its championship, and yes. Allie Krieger's Gotham FC won unexpectedly they can't, you know they were underdogs Boom. going into the tournament she had a lot going on personally uh that that seemed really unfair and hard especially like the timing right before her like retirement tournament mm -hmm. um and her team prevailed and it was it's really exciting unfortunately it was really exciting it's also megan rapino's last game uh rapino got injured and she mm -hmm. was taken off i think she said she yeeted her achilles which is very funny a, sounds a very awful well yeet means to like throw or like no, I, but it's still okay. It like Achilles in general. Just I just like the that trauma she said, to the Achilles. I like that she said she yeeted it. I was like, that's good. That's she's still the same, same person. <laughs> She'll still be around saying things like she yeeted her Achilles. Um, so two really storied women's soccer careers came to an end at the same game, and so it was really significant and really exciting and a really great moment for women's sports. 